Come on, dig in. No more smiling. Get nasty. I'm sorry, boy, because I want to win. Hey. <laughs> Be careful, hey. the first one. Hey. I told you. Wait, wait, guys, what is that? What is that? That's for you. Don't tell me it's Zizou. Wow. I say, uh, hey, we're going to go, go on scuba diving. Scuba so. diving. <laughs> Today we're going to see my friend Jamie Redknapp, so don't be jealous guys. Jamie! Hey, 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 Patrice! Yeah, here we go. Good to see you. Come in, my man. <laughs> How are you, man? Hi, man. How are you? Everything good? Everything good? Yeah, nice you look to great. see you. Man. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Oh, you want a coffee? Or... Yeah, tea, tea, tea. You know, I'm only drinking tea. Oh, that's because you've been in England too long. <laughs> exactly. <You know? laughs> Picture me and my dad. <laughs> when he's at Bournemouth, man, Bournemouth you look Bournemouth. at him there, right? Eh? Oh, what do you wear there? About 11. 11. Yeah, same age as my little boy. And it was like hard on you because, like, of course, he's the manager and he's your son. He should, if I didn't play well, you, know, you have to do this, but he never really like tell me off or shout. He gave me my debut as a 16 year old. There were times when I thought he should have played me more, but he was protecting me. And okay. But then he sold me to Liverpool, which wasn't very nice, was it? You just <laughs> sell your son. <laughs> I just sell your son. <laughs> That's great. How many suits did you have? Like oh, mate, that room there is full of suits. Tom Sweeney is the brand I always get. And, uh, and did you enjoy like wearing your suit when you travel with the team? Because some player they hate it. I, I always used to think when a team turn up, same suit and a blazer tie. Yeah. I think they mean business. But yeah. Juventus, both you need the, the suit tight. Like yeah. even if they see the tie, someone will come and fix it. Like. Yeah. But the Italians are so smart. Yeah, did you notice a difference in, in Italy compared to England with the fashion? I see sometimes Marquis, your PLO coming to the training ground. You feel like they're going for an important dinner or for a gala. Yeah. Damien Hurst is a really famous artist, but he did a spin. So it's a spin painting. And he wrote like, uh, to Charlie and, and from Damien Hurst. So he, we stood there with him and he was spinning the art and he just sort of, sp like this thing goes round and round and round and sprays it on. It's it that. unbelievable. That's quite cool, isn't it? You know, it's not, it's just, he never sell it because it was just a kind gift from a, yeah. a well, and he's an amazing artist, Damien Hurst. My two of my heroes, like Tiger Woods and my dad. Yeah. That was a nice moment, that was many years ago, but to talk. That's so beautiful, yeah. Roger. That's probably my favourite photo. That's oh, a funny photo. I, re I remember, Paul yeah, going, Paul Gascoigne, yeah. Euro 96. Great, great photo. I know he's about to play with Gaza, because I love him so great. much. He's a genius. You know, like you play with some players in training, and you could probably count on one hand how many players that you, every now and again people just go, how did you do that? That was different to anyone else. That was Gaza. And it's just nice to have some, some memories. Uh, yeah, the cinema room. Uh, what is that? That's for you. Don't tell me it's Zizou. Wow. I, I can't believe that. that. That was the closest I got to him. Playing against him, I got his shirt at the end of the game. <laughs> I, he, he gave I you, couldn't he, get near he gave him. you the shirt. We swapped, yeah. Do you know what? I feel bad. It's in my garage, but I bought it out because I knew you were coming today. <laughs> to make you feel so I have a little bit of a uh, little bit of you know a <laughs> bit, bit of quality a bit of quality you know? de la patrie. Yeah. No, I love I love Zizou for me I always say it's like when he retire for me it was like Paris without the Eiffel Tower my two shirts I got framed my first one is Liverpool captain we played Sheffield Wednesday so I got two in a frame I got that one and I got my one I thought one day I'll put them up so I had them in my garage and uh, some burglars come to the house opened up my garage and they took two shirts. But for some reason, they took mine. And I, <laughs> I wanted to tell them, why didn't you take the Zidane shirt? So whoever it is that stole that one, I'm like, can I have that back and you can have the Zidane one? So I, I will take off my shirt. Yeah, you're good, it's fine. Because yeah. they're, they're nice trainers. Yeah, but that's why I will take off <laughs> well, I, can, I can keep mine on, I think. <laughs> I would never think I would be like sit with a Liverpool player <laughs> and having a chat and getting close <laughs> and getting like this positive vibe. But I remember your first game. 
Yeah, let's talk about my first game. I remember doing it. So I'm not, I think it was my first year <laughs> yeah. at Sky. You told me, yeah. And obviously, so you signed in January, right? So, yeah, so cool. You, so obviously <laughs> yourself and Nemanja Vidic. I remember watching you get warmed up and I thought, right, he's like quite slight. Yeah, Doesn't look skinny. that tall. Yeah. He's going to have it you know, a tough game against Trevor Sinclair who would run and run and run. <laughs> Half time, I, I, I think we had a bit of a comment. How's the new players done? I said, I think Patrice Evra's found it very. Di- he's learning a lot about the Premier League. <laughs> yeah, Second half, looking at the teams. Where's Evra? Yeah. Where's Patrice Evra? He's you know like, what's happened? I remember that. What the, happened there? In the dressing room, the manager started shouting on everyone, everyone. And he looked at me in my eyes and said, You, now you sit down, you watch, and you learn English football. That's it. Boom. Oh, we're brilliant. We've got some great coaches here, mate. I, I think, like, England, like, I couldn't understand, like, how many good players you have and you just, like, don't get as a team. You know, maybe when you play for uh, for Liverpool and some player play for Manchester United or for Chelsea, you're scared to talk, like, with the player because Rio told me that. He said sometimes, like, at the table, like, he couldn't, like, talk like properly with Gerard and stuff yeah. like that. I used to love having a dinner with the players. I would love to talk to okay. Alan Shearer or Paul Gascoigne. I would just, I want to be on every table because yeah. I want to hear the stories about the managers. Yeah. But the main United players were the, one of the biggest problems of our England team. Yeah. And that's wow, just, no, that's a, a fact. big shot. <laughs> no, it's a fact. Not on the pitch, but off the pitch. Off the pitch. Because there'll be a table of only main United, so Andy Cole, that's Gary Neville, one. Phil Neville, David Beckham. Mm. Whoever would I sit together, what you mean. and I just look at them and think, that's not a team. Yeah, and, and I don't just blame them. I think that come from the manager. He created it was a Man United playing for England. It wasn't England, but you play for Man United. Ah, okay, okay. You know, it's th- and well, I you, think that you was know what, what you tell. I, you know, what I wish now I would have said, listen, boys, we're together here. Yeah. And I might they might have looked at me and said, who are you talking to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was a big problem because yeah. we were never a team and we had great players. Let's talk about the transition. It was like hard to, to do it for yourself because even me, myself, now I'm retired and, you know, I do sometimes some stuff on TV. So why, why you didn't want like to become even like a manager? What, what's your position? I'll tell you how it worked out, Patrice. I had a lot of problems with my knee. I had about 12, 13 operations on my knee, wow. you know. So a lot, I broke my ankle twice and, and my last game was against Man United, actually. The, the, okay. the, before, I think the year before you signed. Yeah. When I used to play, I, there were times when it was like someone sticking a knife in my knee. Yeah. So I couldn't train and I went to America to see a guy called Stedman, who's the number one knee surgeon, okay. you see Rude Van Nistelrooy and, yeah. and I remember waking up from surgery and he said, listen Jamie, you have to stop now, you know, you're going to need a knee replacement really soon, your knee is not, you know, there's nothing I can do. He'd done, he, I'd had about five operations with him, he kept me going, kept me going. Five operations. And then that was when I thought, right, what am I going to do next? You know, my dad said, you've got a coach, you'll be good, you'll be a good coach, you yeah. love football, you, you know, you can be, you're good with people. I don't know, I had a phone call from people at Sky and said, would you like to come and work for us? And I went, yeah, let's see how it goes. I wanted to spend time with my family. I had a young family. Mm. I thought that the media would be a great way to go. Yeah. And it's been the best decision I've ever made. Are you good? Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah? Two people, Robin Van Persie. Yeah, Robin, yeah, I know. And uh, Rio is meant to be very good. I know, yeah, yeah, I know. I play, I play with them. It's a long time. Yeah, Patrice, don't. <laughs> and a right-hander as well. Yes, Patrice. Ah. ah. Ah, <laughs> okay, Jamie, okay. Oh! <laughs> Who was the best player at United? I would say maybe probably it was Rio. But Rio played against Ronaldo, and Ronaldo wasn't good, but he wanted to win everything. Right. So Rio beat him in front of everyone. We start like screaming, oh, oh my. Ronaldo went, and he, I remember he bought uh, table tennis. He trained for at least like two, three weeks. And he came back and he said, Rio, I want the revenge. And everyone was like, come on, Ronnie, you can't win. And everybody said, Patrice, I've been training, you will see. Yeah. And he beat Rio. So let's see if boy is better than daddy. Yeah? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Oh, OK. Oh. Shot, man. <laughs> Patrice. I need to take off. You don't love this game, man. Yeah, I don't. I don't love this game. No, no, no. <laughs> now I love this game. <laughs> now I love this game. I hate this game, bro. I hate this game. <laughs> He's the winner. I'm the loser. I can't uh, believe that I lose against Bo. 